Hello and welcome to this tutorial which is going to be the accompanying video to the uh, new swords pack available for MovieStorm 1.5. As you can see I've got a basic scene set up here. I've got a swordsman and a swordswoman. And to access the swords what we're going to have to do is right click on the swordsman here, bring up the ring menu and select the use prop activity button here. That brings us up uh, a window to choose our prop and we're just going to scroll through and find the swords. Here it is. Nice little preview so that you know what you're selecting. And we'll click on that and that basically brings up an activity timeline for the uh, use sword held prop. So we're just going to draw the sword by clicking on the plus button. Select draw. And our character draws his sword. Select from one of the other activities. As you see we've got a fair few. We've got some blocks etc etc. Uh, and I'm just going to choose, let's see, um, let's take one of them, uh, slash, lovely, perhaps a, uh, let's see, 12 left and right, and we'll just add one more in here, so I'll select, ooh, what have we got, some solo swings. Okay, if we want the character to put the sword away, we can select uh, sheath. And they put their character back in, the, uh, sorry, their uh, sword back in the sheath. So just rewind the timeline here and play it back, and you can see the character move smoothly with the swords. Lovely. Now at a later stage, we're going to get the characters to interact with each other with the swords. So I'm just going to do a right click on this activity here and I'm going to select uh, delete and that will ju just delete the last action from the timeline there. We'll close that timeline and we'll move on to the female character. So accessing the sword in the same way we do a right click on the character, select use prop, scroll through and let's just find the swords, there we go, select sword and we're going to get our character to catch the sword, select catch Lovely. We'll just add one activity here for her. So we will select twirl left and right repeatedly. Lovely. Now, if we just rotate around our character a little bit here, just going to double click on the sword just to center the view around that object. Zoom in a little bit. And you can see basically that the male and female characters have both got the same swords. Uh, we can change this by closing our uh, activity timeline here. If we right click on the main timeline we can see that we can edit sequence which brings us straight back to where we were with the activity timeline. We don't need that at the moment. Or you can select to customize sword which brings up a little customize menu here. As you can see we can have a future sword, we can have uh, Roman type swords, uh, what else do we have? We have, uh, yeah, musketeers type sword, Japanese type sword, curved sword. I quite like this fantasy sword though, so I'm going to select that and leave our character with that. If we just rewind the timeline to uh, where this character starts their actions, play it back, and you can see now she catches the fantasy type sword and performs her actions with that. Okay, so in a nutshell, that's basically how you use the uh, props as held props. I'm going to close this video down now and start a new video and show you how to get the characters to interact. Hi again, welcome back to the tutorial. Uh, we're back in exactly the same place really. We've got our two characters on set. Both of them have their swords drawn which is very important for the mutual animations. Um, we're going to select our male character here, just get him to walk forward a little bit, just so he's got enough room to do some sword fighting with the female character. We can do a click drag with the control key on his uh, last waypoint there, just to rotate him. And we can now select the swordswoman character, and do a right click on the swordsman character to bring out the ring menu, and select interact, and at the bottom of this drop down list now you can see that we've got the sword fight. Click on that and that will bring up our choreography customizer like so. 
and puts both characters uh, in the position to start sword fighting. So, we've got our swordswoman on the left, swordsman on the right, characters A and B. And by clicking on the plus button here, you can see that we've got a list of activities that they can do. So I'm just going to add a few activities as before. Lovely. Now if we wanted to change uh, which character was moving first, we can change character A to the sword's man. And that changes character B, obviously. And we have exactly the same list of activities, but obviously character A is now the swordsman. So he's kind of leading, as it were. So let's just add a few more in here. Okay, and maybe um, let's try uh, beating on the blade. Lovely. And then maybe flip the characters over again so the swords woman is leading. And we'll add a uh, beating on blade and moving forward. Maybe a circle in here. Uh, there we go. Lovely. And then one of my favorite ones actually is uh, spin kicking to the ground. Okay. So, just add one last one in here. We'll just both retreat. I'll show you how the characters can actually put their swords away, even though that they've taken part in a mutual animation like so. Uh, so, um, we've got our characters on screen, as you can see. If I zoom out on the timeline here, you can see the activities laid down. We've got our sword fight on the right-hand side, and we've still got our used swords over on the left here. So, by clicking Edit Sequence, we can skip to the end of the timeline, and we've still got our activities for sheathing, sheathing the sword. I don't know if that's correct English, but uh, putting the sword away. And again, with the male character, we can right-click, edit sequence, and add sheath the sword. Okay, so that's that's basically it. That's a, a, a quick introduction to how the sword fighting works. Let's just rewind our timeline, play that back, and see what we've got. Okay, so that's about it for this uh, tutorial. Uh, it's just a brief introduction of how to use the swords. I'm sure that you'll find many more ways of uh, using these new props with the characters. I um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, have fun with the pack, and if you have any problems at all, uh, just drop us an email to the support team. Thanks a lot. Bye.